Hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Lori and I am learning how to pour paint. I welcome you and my kitten Tabby welcomes you and we are going to have a fantastic time. Thanks for joining. Well, these, if you remember correctly, these are the two, two, there's one there and then there's another one here that I'm going to redo. Um, those are the two that I did with the flip cup that I just don't like. Um, <laughs> this one, uh, I guess I like it a little bit more. I don't like the way the cells look. I don't like the lack of negative space and I don't like just the big splotch of color that, that just has no, it has no, I don't know. It, it has no appeal to me. It doesn't, I like the, I like the patterns and the more the abstracts that the, the blowing gives me. I am going to do, not on these, these I'm just going to blow out and, and see if I can't salvage them. But I am going to try, my husband got me some fabulous, fabulous wood that we had laying around and he cut it into, I think it's like an MDF multi-layer board. I'll have to get uh, I'll have to get a stand for my camera to be on when I'm doing those so that you'll be able to even see me. But okay, so oh, you know what? I need to put my other gloves on. I'll be right back. I'm going to start pouring on some white. And I've got my little stick here. We'll just spread it out a bit. I know I had that great big spatula, but on these little guys, this kind of works better. Seems to, for me anyway. That, that great big one on this little tiny 4x4 four four inch square is, is just a little bit of overkill, and it's a little awkward. I'll just scrape that off on the side there. Run it down. Get a little... Now, I do have some Floetrol in this white, so it does seem to to help with the self-leveling that I was running into some problem with. So let's move that. We'll give our white a quick torch. Wow, that seems high. <laughs> I don't think it needs to be quite that high. Okay. And I'm still using the same colors, African Violet, Lavender, Copper, and then a couple of versions of the Turquoise that I've mixed up with some black and then I, I mixed to make it darker and then I wanted a lighter version as well so I mixed it up with some white and added a little bit of blue. Anyway, I'm going to try and go in a little bit of a different order this time. I don't know why the last one I did with these colors kind of turned... It had a lot of gray in it, which I thought was kind of weird, but anyway, I'm sure it has to be the color combinations that I'm throwing together that that's another good reason to, <laughs> to do it on these little four-inch little doohickeys and and I'm quite I'm not adverse to covering them over. I don't I don't see any problem with it. Some people might say it's it's taboo or bad or whatever, but I don't care. <laughs> and I know you don't either. So, all right. So, we're going to try starting with the green this time. And we'll go right in the middle, or try to go kind of in the middle, I guess. And then we'll put in our lavender. And then I'm going to put this violet right next to the lavender. And then I'm going to throw this copper between the violet, 
I'm going to use more of it because I'm having a heck of a time getting it to show up. Now, which one's one of those did I use? I hope I used the darker one because I'm going to use the <laughs> lighter one now. <laughs> okay, and you know the drill. This will be the part where I stick it over to music and and blow this out. So first, of course, I flood it with some white just around the edges. I think I've got lots, but interesting how my whites are a little bit different too. Different paints, I guess. Okay, here we go. Oh, I need to torch first, don't I? I've got bubbles.
beautiful. It'll be interesting. I'm not going to do any more with that teal until I see what a pain these are to try to seal. Um, even though, like, apparently I'm learning that I've been sealing them wrong. <laughs> Oopsie! Live and learn. I didn't even think that my whatever I was sealing it with wouldn't be heat proof, but apparently not everything is. And you'll completely ruin the coasters if you put a hot cup on them. So that's not so good. Um, I am looking into ways to get them to heat up. One lady was suggesting using clear brake line um, sealer or something. Which looked like an interesting option, but it sounded expensive. So it might be, I apparently resin, I think, I'm going to double check before I buy any, but apparently resin is good. So we'll see. Anyway. I am loving the color combinations with this, but you can see here where some of my undercolors cracked through and showed through. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. We'll find out when it comes time to seal them. Thank you so much for coming back and watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Bye now.